Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So, the deck profile for Skull Serpent. So, uh, you know, the new way that we structured the polls, uh, you know, I kind of get to pick and choose the deck, and Skull Serpents are on there, you know. I, I kind of thought it was maybe a lesser deck. I kind of thought it was going to be chosen. I really did. I was like, if anything, people are going to pick Skull Servants because, you know, I mean, they think it's a lesser deck, but no, no. Especially with the, the, the zombie engine, the freaking unit zombie sage engine, you can you can go to town. You can go to town. So don't, don't underestimate the zombies. Like, holy crap. So... Uh, this deck is tight. T I T E. That's not how you spell tight. I know. Uh, but holy crap. Like, there's so many things that people were suggesting that I play, and I, I wanted to keep it as 40, and as you can clearly see, like, everything in there is pretty vital. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys that profile. Uh, we got the Skull Servants, we got the Zombies, we got oh, pretty much everything. So let's get started. Uh, the ratio for the regular Skull Servant, two. Two regular Skull Servant, three Lady in the White. Uh, you're mainly going to be using white prints to when it's sent to the graveyard, if it's sent to the graveyard, not when, if, so it doesn't miss time. If it's sent to the graveyard, you can go ahead and send a Skull Servant, Lady in the Right, so that's going to be plus 2,000 for your King of Skull Servants already. Uh, I don't think the entire time it's been on Daily Duel, I used the second effect though, the banish two Skull Servants in this, in this card, because that's minus 3,000, you know, and I don't really want to summon freaking King, uh, Skull Servants from my deck that bad. Like, I would rather go ahead and just send it to the graveyard with Unizombie, and then just revive it with Mizuki, and then keep everybody in the graveyard to have King of Skull Servants be, you know, as strong as he possibly can be, then, you know, lose 3,000 just summon from the deck. So I don't think I use the second effect, but God forbid I have used that first effect, and it is power, so, uh, yeah. Uh, you run two of the White Mare. Uh, he's okay. He's okay. Uh, he's mainly used to keep uh, Allure in check, so pretty much uh, this card kind of graveyard she has Skull Servant, who cares? Uh, you, and you can select one of your move and play Skull Servant, so White Mare is returned to the graveyard, blah, blah, blah. Select one of your move and play Lady in the Rights or King of Skull Servant Special Summoner. You know, so pretty much you use Allure, you banish your Skull Servants, and then you either put it back in the graveyard or you summon it back, either or. So that's what White Mare does. He's not the best, but you know, that's why he's at two. He's no better than a regular Skull Servant, but he's not the worst either. I think he has the exact same stats too. Yeah, he does. So, yeah. Of course, three Prince, three King, and uh, that's all the Skull Servants. So, you literally, if you're going to play Skull Servants, I'd say three, I mean, two, three, two, three, three. That's the ratio. That's just, that's the Skull Servant ratio, in my opinion. All right. Uh, moving on to the zombie half of things. So, of course, Triple Mizuki. Triple Sage, because Sage is ridiculous. Someone attributed someone to Zombie with Zero Defense. Unizombie, Unizombie, use your effect, go ahead and send Mizuki, Mizuki, summon back Sage, and then sync with, sync 8, bam, Omega, Omega, next stem, your opponent's stem face, put Mizuki back. One card, one card, so powerful, so powerful. Like, if you don't got your, if you want Omegas and you haven't got your hands on Omega, get him, because he's probably going to go up to like a $50 card as soon as Sage comes out, because it's just a one card play, bam, and you get your Mizuki back, like, it's so powerful, so powerful. Of course, Yuna Zombie, I mean, come on, Yuna Zombie has been ridiculous ever since it came out. Like, it, God, if you're running zombies and you're not running Yuna Zombie, then you, you need to get yourself checked, because God. Uh, go ahead and send Mizuki. Also, go ahead and send White Prince. So, sometimes I wouldn't open up, you know, perfectly, you know. Uh, I wouldn't open up with the Sage, or I wouldn't open with, like, you, you know, uh... You know, I'd open up with like Mizuki or something, or I'd open up with like Lady in the White. Uh, there's actually a time if you check out the videos where I do a unique play with uh, the combination of Skull Summons, where I'd go ahead and say, all right, Unizombie, go ahead and pitch the Mizuki. All right, well, there's still nothing there for Mizuki page. All right, Unizombie, use your effect. Send a zombie from the deck to Gabriel. Send White Prince. Prince, go ahead and send Skull Servant and Lady in the White. All right, well, now Unizombie is level 5 because it uses the effect first time to increase its level for Mizuki, second time to send White Prince. So now it's level 5. You're like, oh, well, you know, yeah, even if I, you know, revive like a level 4, I, I don't have any sync 9s. Oh, but I could just use Mizuki, summon Lady in the White. 5 plus 3 is now 8. So that's another way you can do it, but it's still, you know, it's a great setup play. Uh, so... That's all good and dandy. And then triple Zombie Master, because Zombie Master works really well in this deck, where they'd be pitching, uh, you know, White Prince. This is really right at three in this deck, because Pitch White Prince, it, even if it's cost, if this card's in the graveyard, it doesn't miss timing. So I'll go ahead and use Zombie Master, Pitch Prince, summon back, you know, like Uni Zombie Prince, go ahead and send two more Sync. So, you know, it really does help. And it lets you get your Sage back, your Mizuki's back, your Uni Zombie's back, and keeps the plays going. It really does. So, uh, it's great and all. So 25 monsters, I definitely say that every one of them is necessary, I and mean, then you can clearly see how tight this deck is. It's actually recommended that I throw in like Polly, that you can clearly see the darks, that you know I can go into like Star Venom, or I can go into that one zombie dragon guy, but I really couldn't, because look how tight this deck is. Uh, spells, 
I'm Regeki because it's Regeki 2 alerts. I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of darks. Everybody is dark except for you and you. So all these guys are dark. So alert. Uh, that one instant fusion for that one Norden because you already know Norden just did straight up enabler. Like, I would love for him to be banned. You know, I would love for him to be banned, but eh. Uh, then number generate. Let's go ahead and number generate the terraforming to the one zombie world. Uh, it's not, you don't need it. You don't need the zombie world, but God, when you get it, it it's like it's like cranking up the deck. You know, me and Stones were discussing it, and it's just like you know, like well, I do all them cute plays and have, and then you know, Uni Zombie is like, hey, only zombies can attack. Everybody's a zombie. I can attack and use on Uni Zombie's effect from Sun from Deck Era. That's power. Mizuki, oh, my Omega died. Mizuki summoned back a zombie from my graveyard. Well, with zombie world, <laughs> my Omega is a zombie. So you know, that's power too. Of course, Triple Twin Twister blow out that back row. Um, the Solemn Brigade, Triple Solemn Strike, one warning, and I only ran two sword because three is cloggy, especially since I'm not running Shira Nui. If I was running Shira Nui, it would be three, but because I'm not, and I'm not running, you know, any of the Shira Nui monsters, pretty much, if I play this card, I pop two, and I have to banish one of my stages in my deck, so, yeah, so, because I'm not running the other Shira Nui's, the three to two ratio, at three could be cloggy, so I was like two, and, and it happened to fit the deck perfectly, so there you go. Uh, of course, one Norden. Uh, Beals, I don't, I don't, I don't make it as often as you would think, but you know he's still good. Beals, uh, Void Ogre, two uh, Omega. You, you could probably get away with one, but two because that can, generally does two. Uh, one Hot Red, one Scar Right, because I'm sick and tired of messing up with these two. Like I think I lost a duel because I only had Scar Right and not Hot Red, and you know. So generally, I've been playing both of them because their their situation arises where either one of them could be better, and they're both just so great. You know, you can't say you know what's a good sync A without mentioning at least one of these one of these two. You know, so uh, then we got some sevens because I can go in seven. So we got that Clear Wing, that Black Rose, just in case I need to walk the field, that Moonlight Bounce. Uh, then we got some sixes because we can do some sixes sometimes. We got that reincarnation dragon samsara. Uh, I don't think I used it, but you know it can be nice to go ahead and revive a monster. Twenty six booty, but if you want more offensive with your sink six, then you got of course the classic Goya Guardian. And you can go in fives. You can say five without our saying our maybes. Uh, I guess you can go ahead if you want. Uh, and if you don't want to do the Sam and you think that you know what, if I'm gonna sink, I'm gonna go into Goya. Forget Sam. You can always put. Uh, 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 I like Justice, you know, that he's not bad either, but you know, generally when you think think five, you think Armadies. I mean, when things have Armadies esque effect, you say Armadies set because Armadies is just the OG with it, right? You can do uh, some uh, rank four play, so of course Castell and Dweller because they're the go to cards. So uh, there you go, there is a Skull Serpent deck. So as you can clearly see, extra deck, tight, main deck, tight. But it was fun. I really enjoyed my time uh, with the deck uh, over the, out of the last month, past month. Uh, you know, I think that some people voted on it because they were tro they, th they thought they were trolling. They're like, oh, Skull Servant. Daniel's going to lose with that. Skull Servants are shit. No, no. Don't underestimate especially with the zombie engine. Throw that in there and go to town. Like, it, it was great. It was fantastic. So, anyway, uh, deck profile for Skull Servants. And if you haven't seen already the video that uh, the Daily Duels that I'm dueling with, the deck that's replacing it. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time getting all my sentences out. Uh, Electromagnetic Warriors uh, is already up, so be sure to check that out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, another deck profile. We got the deck profile for ABC, and we will be dueling with Predator Plants. Predator Plants. So we'll see how that goes down. So if, you know, I, I apologize I couldn't fuse in a Star Venom with this deck, but I can definitely tell you we're going to be fusing to Star Venom with that deck. So look forward to that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow.